Hello my dear exceptional students in this lecture our topic is mapping entities into relations our tables first we understand it logically and in upcoming lectures we will do it practically in SQL all right how to map strong and weak entities in a relation becomes a separate relation with a foreign key taken from the strong entity primary key in independent over strong entity while foreign key in dependent over weak entity if you have any confusion about this logic then watch my previous lectures in one to many relationships primary key on the one side becomes a foreign key on the many side remember this point which is very important primary key always in which cardinality is one and the foreign key in is in which cardinality is many many to many relationships create a new relation with the primary keys of the two entities as its primary key it is impossible to map many to many relationships directly because many instances from both sides so we draw another table to map them one to one relationship primary key on the mandatory independent side becomes a foreign key on the optional dependent side in one to one relation primary key always in mandatory side and the foreign key is in which optional side but remember this one is for one to one relationship there are exceptional guys in our upcoming lectures you will understand it more clearly mapping regular entities to relations simple attributes er attributes map directly onto the relation as shown in figure mapping a composite attribute composite attributes use only their simple component attributes why component attributes map as simple attribute reason is if we want to find those students who are from a specific city or state then it will be easy to find them if you notice that customer address store into database in three columns and address is a composite attribute why we store it into multiple co columns rather than single column the advantage is if we want to retrieve records of customers those who are from multan so we can have required result easily and the last one is mapping an entity with a multi valued attribute multi valued attributes becomes a separate relation with a foreign key taken from the superior entity i tell you this point many times so if you are new watch my previous videos next lecture we'll talk about steps for ERD and tools so please rate our videos and subscribe to our channel